Welcome back to Why TEDx Billings. I'm Michelle, the Executive Director for the Billings Depot, and I will be your MC for the event. We are talking with our executive team and hearing a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes, what's happening with TEDx Billings, and why they're so excited for this event. With me today is Mark Donahue. He is the Executive Director and Producer for TEDx Billings. Thanks for talking with us today. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am uh I'm a Great Falls, born and raised in Great Falls, Montana native. Spent a little bit of time out of state in, uh, in Missouri with my family, but did a lot of traveling working for the pharmaceutical industry, hmm. validating pharmaceutical manufacturing plants um, with a biology degree. So That's a little different from what you're doing than, here today. Than what we're up to today, but mm -hmm. now, we're, now we have a, a greater opportunity to do the things that we want to do rather than what we have to mm -hmm. do. So. So Tell us a little bit about where we're sitting. Where we're sitting, we are at Amplify Downtown, and we're King West Media Group. Charlie Garrett is, is running sound, and, and I do the video part. Mm -hmm. And we have relocated here just recently within the last few months. Mm -hmm. And we, like Kelly mentioned earlier, really like downtown. Mm -hmm. It's really a lot of fun being downtown. We're out on the West End, and, and we've, we've had to do some work in this studio, but we really like it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a great downtown community. It's really yes, exciting and vibrant and fun to be a part of. Mm -hmm. So how did you get involved with TEDx Billings? I got involved with TEDx Billings because I really appreciate the production value of TEDx. Mm -hmm. um, TEDx is really, from a production standpoint, it's, it's about uh, a company assembling resources to really grab the essence of what this person has to say in a limited amount of time without distracting from that person, but rather augmenting that talk to make it as effective as it, con as it can possibly be. And it's technically there's a lot going on um, when we look at what the requirements are from TEDx. And, and we'll be shooting it with six cameras, one of which will be a jib mm -hmm. at the Babcock and lit to the nines and, and uh, really nice set mm -hmm. decoration. We're really looking forward to a premier event that's gonna be uh, a lot more complicated than a typical outdoor live event or, or some of the other things that we're used to. So what are you doing to prepare for this kind of large setup and execution? We're, uh, our biggest challenge has to do with making sure that we have the appropriate resolution and color depth in all of the cameras that are gonna be uh, there. My understanding is that even though that we'll be switching the, ca the, the program live, mm -hmm. like we're doing this, mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll also be recording each camera to a high color depth, which is going to involve significant amounts of recorders and mm -hmm. rented gear. Um, because TEDx wants to go in and have their team re-edit. Oh, interesting. The final, yeah. So they'll use our live switched version and then they'll they'll have access to the raw footage of each camera so that they can reconsider uh, and edit another version that that may be better than the live switched version so tedx billings is taking place at the babcock theater i assume that that means you will have to work very closely with the babcock and their staff there to make sure that all of this setup can take place and execute correctly. Yes, we will. We, and uh, a lot of that is gonna have to do with camera placement and lighting mm -hmm. and set decoration. So yeah, they're, they're going to be, I think we'll be asking them permission for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but we won't necessarily uh, be soliciting their help mm -hmm. in any of the setup. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you've been a little bit more behind the scenes listening to everything that's been going on and part of the, the planning. What are you most excited about for TEDx Billings? I think I'm most excited about um, seeing the slate of final uh, participants that we have, the final speakers. Mm -hmm. um, I really didn't have an idea, I think, from the start of this, what the caliber of speakers was going to be mm -hmm. here in Billings. And uh, as, we, as we go through the applications and, and kind of weigh the, the pros and cons of the different speakers that we're ultimately going to select, it's, it's clear that we are going to have a stellar lineup. 
-hmm. of really qualified people mm -hmm. presenting uh, really valuable information in short periods of time. So it's, and it's gonna be one busy day, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. And why do you think this is so important, uh, TEDx Billings, to be hosted and, um, uh, and, and held here for the community in Billings? I think, um, I think it, when you see some of these TEDx talks, um, some of them coming from places like Australia and New Zealand and places mm -hmm. in Germany and that, I think it's kind of uh, an entryway into being a member city of a, like a, a more of a worldwide focused kind of a group of people. Mm -hmm. So it, it, from the speaker standpoint, it really helps them to significantly expand their reach. Mm -hmm. If their if they're, uh, subject matter is engaging and interesting, uh, they can really talk to a lot of people from the Babcock in Billings, Montana. Gives them a worldwide reach. Yeah. So that's, w that's what I'm excited about. It kind of puts Billings on the map along with all these other cities mm -hmm. who have right. excellent TEDx talks. Yeah, and it's great exposure for our presenters as well as all of the organizations, the partner organizations that we're working and collaborating with to right. bring this event forward. Um, I know there's the Babcock. Um, we've partnered with some other local companies and Billings Community Foundation is helping with some tax write-offs. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of opportunities for for organizations and for the community to get involved with this event and stay engaged. Right, yep, mm -hmm. there really is. And, and it's great, it's a great opportunity for everybody to meet uh, like-minded individuals too. Like, I got to meet Michelle. Yes, so excited to be here. We're, good. We're happy to have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this event is really fun. It's really exciting. Um, it's going to be great for the Billings community. So um, thank you for watching today. And if you are interested in getting involved and participating in learning more, there's always our website, tedxbillings.com, as well as our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And we hope we'll see you at the event in February.